kind of strange, but I think my tripod broke, which is really unfortunate. But it's like stuck in this one position, so I'm like trying to make it work, but it's, if, I feel like I'm giving all a bird's eye view. What's up you guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's vlog. I am finally back in New York. I have been in Pennsylvania for the past three weeks. Well, I was there and then I was in California for a few days, but most of the time I was in Pennsylvania visiting my family. And now I'm finally back in the city. It does feel good to be back. Today's Monday. I have some things that I need to do today, but there's like nothing particularly exciting or revolutionary happening today. Sometimes I feel like in order to make a vlog interesting or to produce content that's even like worth putting out, I need to do something different or fun or just something exciting. I feel like I need to do something exciting for it to even be like worth putting out. Yes, it is fun, obviously, to do exciting things, but especially since I've moved out, I've really made it a point to enjoy, actively enjoy just the mundane shit in life. Day-to-day -day life, for the most part, is just made up of a bunch of small and simple tasks. So I think that it's really important in order to get the most out of life and just enjoy the whole process, I guess, of being alive. Like, I don't know. I think that finding joy in the small, simple moments is so important. And it's just something that I've been trying to be more, I guess, aware of since I've moved out and I have been, you know, on my own and just kind of creating my own reality every day if that makes sense i'm not sure if like any of this is honestly making sense so yeah come along with me today we're gonna have a very simple uneventful day but it's gonna be a good one i already got ready i had some oatmeal for breakfast and i need to put on the rest of my outfit so that i can leave the house i have the top part of the outfit on i'm like i'm wearing this out but i am also still wearing my pajama pants so probably should throw some actual pants on this top actually i just got and I love it so much. It's so freaking cute. This is from ThreadUp and they are actually sponsoring today's video. So thank you so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring today. If you have been watching my videos even for a little bit, you've probably heard me mention ThreadUp at least once. I work with them a ton. I shop from them a ton. And if you are new here or you're not familiar with ThreadUp, they are an online thrift and consignment store whose mission is just to inspire people to think secondhand first. There's over 3,000 brands on ThreadUp, everything from Gap to Urban Outfitters to higher end like Gucci, Marc Jacobs, and you can find things at up to 90% off of the estimated retail prices. So ThreadUp's variety can't be beat. You're sure to find some one-of-a-kind things and amazing deals. I have been shopping from ThreadUp for well over a year now, and I've found some seriously amazing things from clothing to shoes and accessories. So I want to take a second and show you some of my latest finds that I've gotten for the spring and summer The first being obviously this little tank top. It's a zip up. I love everything about this I love this collar first of all you can adjust the zipper for however like Much you want to unzip it Which is fun. This top is from Urban Outfitters The estimated retail price on this was $30 and I got it from ThreadUp for only $16.99 The next thing that I got is this green top now if you know me Obviously you can just tell by my outfit right now, I wear a lot of neutrals. So this bright green is like a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I thought this would be so much fun for summer as a cute little like going out top. This is from Princess Polly. The estimated retail is $36 and I got it from ThreadUp for $11.99. I am so excited to wear this this summer. The next thing that I got is a pair of black jean shorts. I've been seeing a bunch of outfits on Pinterest and whatnot that have black jean shorts, so I've been looking for some black jean shorts for a while, so I picked up these ones. These are from Abercrombie. The estimated retail is $58, and I got them from ThreadUp for $20.99. The next thing that I got is actually a pair of sandals, and I have been seeing this style of sandal so much. And I was yesterday years old when I found out that these are actually a dupe for a designer. I can't think of the freaking name of the designer off the top of my head at the moment, but I saw it yesterday. So I got these from Steve Madden <laughs> and they look identical. The estimated retail on these was $71 and I got them from ThreadUp for $21.99. And then the last thing that I got is actually a purse. ThreadUp carries a bunch of designer brands, as I said, so they authenticate the pieces. So I've bought designer bag from them before, but this is my second one now. And it is this little like slouchy shoulder bag. It's cream and it has these cute brown straps. This is from Marc Jacobs, which ugh, I'm just so excited about this. I can't believe I found this. This bag from Marc Jacobs was originally $498. I wasn't paying that. 
I was not paying that. Um, I got it from ThreadUp for $88.99, and I actually believe that I got it for less than that because there was like a deal going on. There was like a coupon. It's such a perfect size. Like it's just such a perfect size. I can fit my vlog camera in here. I can fit everything else that I need. And it just like sits so cutely on my shoulder. I'm obsessed. I highly recommend checking out ThreadUp. You can use my code Elise, E-L-I-S-E, -E, for 30% off of your first order from ThreadUp and free shipping. And again, thank you so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video, for working with me again. Love you. Okay, I really need to get this show on the road. I wanted to go grocery shopping first thing in the morning so that I could get that out of the way because I honestly hate going grocery shopping. And it's not even the act of the grocery shopping, it's bringing it back. It's walking it back and then lugging it up to the apartment. So I need to do that and then get back, put everything away, figure out what I need to do for my dinner tonight. And then I have my meeting to hop on and just some other work. So moral of the story, I need to go grocery shopping now. I might need to actually bring my little grocery cart. I think I might have a lot of stuff today actually since I quite literally have nothing in my kitchen right now. We're gonna head to Target and then we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. <laughs> Got back from the grocery store. What I did not videotape was me struggling to get this huge bag of groceries up to my apartment. But here we are. Oh okay, let's do a little haul quickly while I put it away. I'm gonna start first with what I got from Trader Joe's and then I'll show you what I got from Target. I got a lot more from Trader Joe's, so buckle up. Let's get into our grocery haul. First off, from Trader Joe's, I got this long ass organic french baguette this is for dinner tonight next i got just some organic white corn tortilla chips i have some dips and salsas that need chips so yeah this is my all-time favorite bread in the entire world especially to make sandwiches with and like avocado toast and stuff so this is the san francisco style sourdough bread from trader joe's if you have a trader joe's near you this i'm telling you i got some white cheddar popcorn i love white cheddar popcorn I don't think I need to say anything else. Next, some eggs. Love that. I got two types of milk. I got regular milk, this is just 1%. I prefer, I don't know why, I prefer regular milk in my oatmeal. And then of course I got some oat milk. For some reason Target has been out of my favorite oat milk, which is the Oatly Original. And this is the closest that I could find to like the texture, like the, cons not texture, ew, to the consistency of the Oatly one. So I haven't had caffeine today, if you guys, I mean, not that anyone really cares, but I did not make coffee this morning because I didn't have any milk. I got two yellow onions for dinner tonight. Russet potatoes also for dinner tonight. Ooh, I also got some avocados. Not for dinner tonight, if you were wondering. I got this, I, I have no idea. I went there looking for a specific type of meat and they didn't have it. So I got this one and I don't know what this even is. So all natural lean beef stew meat. I was looking for a chuck roast. This isn't a chuck roast, but next I got my organic American cheese single slice thingies and also my ham for my sandwich that I like to make. I really do need to cut down on the mayo. So for everyone who said that, I do agree with you, but I can't help it. I If you don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. A few more things from Trader Joe's. I got some carrots for dinner tonight and also sour cream that I do need for dinner tonight, but I'm also going to dip these taquitos in. One more thing from Trader Joe's. I got these Tangy Turtles Tart and Sweet Gummies. I love having sour candy. I always have to have sour candy in the house. Next, just a few things from Target. First, I got these two packets of the McCormick Brown Gravy Mix. These are for tonight. Oh, this is from Trader Joe's. Oh my God, I suck at this. I got these raw walnut halves and pieces. I usually use the pecan halves in my oatmeal, but they didn't have any all out of pecan half, so I got walnuts instead. Hopefully they're good. I don't know, my mom eats walnuts in her oatmeal, so I'm like, mm, whatever. Okay, moving on. I got a peeler. I also got more contact solution. Uh, this is so random, but I just saw these and they're so good and I haven't had them in like probably six years. But I got these dill pickle sunflower seeds. I feel like a baseball douchebag, but <laughs> oh well. 
Bottle. And finally, Drano. What a great thing to end on. I feel like my bathroom sink is clogged with my hair. So I need to try this out because it's just getting on my nerves. So that's the last thing in our haul. I have like five minutes till I'm eating and my taquitos won't be done for six minutes. So that sucks. I need to switch out my camera battery and I'm gonna go set up my laptop and open Zoom and log on my meeting. dinner. I put everything in the crock pot, turned it on, so it'll be cooking for four hours. Truthfully, I have so much cleaning to do. It looks like a tornado blew through my apartment because I got home the other day and I just like have not put anything away, so there's just stuff everywhere. So I do, in reality, have so much cleaning to do, but the thought of doing that right now makes me physically ill. I don't want to do it, so I'm not going to yet. Um, that's a problem for later. Maybe later I'll feel like I want, I, I probably won't. I probably won't feel like it later, but I have to do it at some point. But that point is not right now. I wanna read my book. I have been meaning to read this book for so long. I bought this book ages ago and some of you may have read it. It's called The Silent Patient. It's like a psychological thriller, I believe, which are my favorite books. I've heard so many good things about this book and I just have not carved out time for myself to read it. And that is what I wanna do right now, at least for an hour, just for an hour. There's nothing that is more exciting to me in this moment than this. Charlie is sleeping right here, so we're kind of hanging out together. I'm gonna to read my book. I'm really excited. Okay. And I'm gonna eat my sunflower seeds because these are so good. All right. Bye. Hello, my dinner has just finished cooking. Um, I just took the lid off of the crock pot and I was just like, you know, stirring it around. And this meat is like breaking apart so beautifully, just like a chuck roast would, which is what I wanted. So now I'm like, what is this? Like, what was it called? Stew meat? I'm like, is that just another word for what I wanted? 
I'm so, I'm so confused. I hope that it's done. I'm gonna grab a plate and get some and then I just cut up some of my French baguette into some little slices and stuck it in the oven. So I'm crisping that up as well. Gonna put some butter on that, dip it in some of the sauce, broth, whatever the f this is. I'm nervous because I deviated with this recipe. My mom does this in the oven. She has like a big, I don't even know what the f it is. It's like a big thing that she puts all of it in and it goes in the oven for like three hours or so. And instead of that doing that, I put mine in the crock pot for four hours on high. I don't know. So if this ends up like working, I'm going to be stunned. Oh my God. Guys, Bobby Flay, whom? Whom? This does not even look remotely appetizing. I wish I had those cute little bowls that my mom has at home. They're like not fully bowls, but they're also not plates. I mean, it smells right. I should also mention that my mom didn't have a recipe for this. She just kind of sent me a text of what she does because I guess my grandma made this when she when my mom was a kid and my grandma never like wrote it down. So there wasn't a recipe. My mom was just like, get these things and put them together. Charlie, do you want some? Do you want some? Unfortunately, this isn't for kitties. I'm so sorry. I'm very, very, very interested in this right now. This is just pulling apart in the most gorgeous way. What kind of meat did I buy? I fear I may have done something. I mean, don't all applaud at once. How to know when pot roast is done. <laughs> I think it's done. We're trying it. I think I did it. <laughs> How is this possible? How is this possible? I cannot believe this. I slayed, I fear. I believe that I slayed. I'm so proud of myself. I'm gonna go eat now. this outro on my laptop i've done this twice now this will be the third time and my laptop is glitching and there's no sound so hi we're here on my phone i just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i hope that you liked it i know that this vlog was kind of a little bit different 
or maybe it wasn't that different and I'm just being dramatic, but let me know if you liked it. That is gonna be it for today's vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you've stayed until this point in the video, comment down below. I'm a real one because you're a real one. I don't know where to look on my phone. Like this is so awkward. If you wanna see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every Sunday. And if you forget that I post a new video every Sunday or you just wanna get notified right when I post a new video, make sure you turn on my post notifications for my channel. It's the little bell icon so that you never miss an upload and you get notified right when I post a new video. And again, Thank you so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to check out ThreadUp, there's going to be a link down in the description. And you can use my code Elise, E-L-I-S-E, -E, for 30% off of your first order from ThreadUp and free shipping. And yeah, that's it. Hopefully this is the last time I have to record this. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.